Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're starting off a brand new hotel series here in Cancun, Mexico. We're going to be touring around the Rio hotels here in the area. So we're gonna be starting with this one here, Hotel Rio Palace Peninsula. We're gonna take a look at Rio Caribe and Rio Cancun, which are just down the road here, and also Rio Las Americas. And then we're also gonna to be touring, it's gonna to be somewhere over here through the lagoon, Ryu Palace Kukukan, the brand new Ryu Hotel that just opened up here in Cancun. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel to see all the different videos of the buffets, the rooms, and the full resort tours of the different Ryu Hotels here. So without further ado, let's head inside Ryu Palace Peninsula and check out what's offered here. So again, I'm standing out in the uh, area here where you'd typically be dropped off by your uh, transportation from the airport. And uh, I love this hotel here. It's got the big hole here in the middle. It looks really, really neat. And there's even rooms just above this as well. So I love this entryway here. We got a beautiful garden here too. So very conveniently located. There also is a bus stop just on the other side of the road going this way. And that will take you into town. And it's only one USD um, for the bus trip. And it'll take you right into the downtown Cancun and to the other uh, Rius here in the area. So this is really nostalgic for us because this is actually the first hotel tour we ever did on this channel here. So it's really cool to be back. We're gonna give you guys an updated look at what it looks like here in 2023. All right, so I'm just heading inside here through the doorway here, and this is the lobby area here. So as you come in, you will uh, you can drop your luggage just off to the side here, and the bellman here will be happy to help you with your luggage. The front desk is located conveniently right here. And then this is the uh, lobby. The decor here is kind of like a silver on purple. A very abstract uh, artwork here. As you can see this nice kind of torsion art right here in the middle of the lobby. And I'll do a little wayfinding for you too so when you come in you know kind of where to go. So just beside the lobby here will be the uh, first set of elevators. The spa and the gym down here. All the way down this hallway here is going to lead to the sports bar, the theater and the walkway down to the pools. Just back in the back area of the lobby is where the uh, lobby bar and the cappuccino bar where the pastries and coffee are. Down the hallway over here is going to be where your restaurants are located and the main buffet. And then finally, just down this hallway right here is where the elevators to the uh, right side tower are going to be located. And then just over here is the first a la carte restaurant, which is where we're gonna go take a look at just first, and that's the Italian restaurant. So as you come in, there's, as you can see, there's lots of really cool seating here in this lobby here. These large high back purple chairs. There's little benches scattered throughout the lobby as well. And if we turn over this way, this is going to be Venetia. And Venetia is the Italian restaurant here. And uh, here's the dinner buffet menu here at the Italian restaurant. So we noticed a couple uh, menu items have changed since the last time we were here, but most of the setup and the things uh, and where they're located are pretty much the same here at the uh, Rio Palace Peninsula. But there's the inside look at the Italian restaurant. So again, just coming out from the uh, Italian restaurant, if we look over here, this is where the elevators are located. And down this hallway into the right or to the left, there is nothing really there. It actually just stops at a window there. So we'll turn over this way. Again, I'm just gonna point out that there's more elevators located over here in the lobby and then there's the spa and gym. So I'll just uh, pick things up when we get to the spa and gym down this little hallway right here. So here is Renova Spa, and then before we head in there, I just wanna show you one thing. If we turn this way, there's a little doorway here that connects you to the other hallway that leads to the sports bar and the theater. So there's like a nice little through lane here to get to the elevators a little quicker, so you don't have to go all the way around. So this is Renova Spa. You can get some different uh, treatments like manicures, pedicures, massages, facials, um, uh, hairstyles done, haircuts, makeup. So you can just peek in here, you can see it's quite nice in here. So this is the spa right here. This is the steps that would lead up to the treatment areas, but I'm not gonna go up there. Um, and then the gym here, which is located just at the end of the spa, is open from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what it looks like in here. It's not a really big gym, but there are some different things that you could uh, do your workouts in here. There's even a little space here that you can grab some dumbbells and do some exercises there. So the ladies at the front desk were so kind to let me come up to the jacuzzi area here. So there is a uh, jacuzzi here and some loungers. 
that you can relax at here. And it is open to the, the outside here. So this is sort of the front of the hotel and down by the road here, as you can see. So it is quite nice and warm in here. You get a nice breeze too. And then over this way, there's some more loungers, some beautiful plants. And then again, there's a open air out to the front of the hotel. This is where we started the hotel tour. So this jacuzzi is part of the all-inclusive package. So you just have to make an appointment and a reservation to come up here so to make sure that there's space. You don't have to do any spa treatments to get access to that. It's just something that's included in your package, which actually I didn't know. And then just to let you know as well, there is change rooms. There's nobody in here right now. This is the men's change room and uh, a spot to kind of store your things here. And you can get some keys for the lockers. And there are also showers here too. So this is kind of a good option after you've maybe um, checked out of your room. This is a cool place to come and just relax before you head to the airport. And I don't know if this is gonna come through here, but this is the treatment area here. Um, so obviously there's no one being treated in this little area. This is the waiting room. But you can see how like really, really nice it is here with these candles and uh, these seats here. And I think they even have like a, uh, like a little tea option here. There's some tea. Uh, mugs and then some uh, I think that's cold tea or infused water and you can pour some tea and choose from the tea in the little uh, box right here All right, so coming out of Renova spa here and just turning back towards the elevators in the main lobby I'm really glad I got to look in there because I think that's what we're gonna do before we head back to the airport is hang out in the uh, Jacuzzi there after our room has been after we've checked out of our room and then there are also showers up there and there's also showers just right here too, courtesy showers that you could use too. Uh, but like I said, there are some in the change rooms up there too. So as we head back in the lobby, I think that's probably uh, Ryu Palace Peninsula's best kept secret right there. So maybe it's gonna get more popular as everybody sees this video and wants to hang out in the jacuzzi up there. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention too about the lobby, so the front desk is just right here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, there also is an information board just over here by the window and a courtesy desk here that they can help you with any bookings and if you want to book a romantic dinner on the beach and things like that, there's a spot you can talk to a Rio representative just there. There is this information board as well that has all different kind of information about the uh, hotel. You can see the different activities that are happening. You can um, see the different weather and um, check out different ins and outs of what's happening at the resort this week. And this is a touch screen too, so you could easily just take a look at anything that you'd like to um, while you're here at this information board. So these are really helpful. Also, there is the Ryu app, which I'll try to find the barcode for that you can scan. So this is the barcode or the QR code you can scan so you get the Ryu app on your phone. And the QR code for the Ryu app well, um, the app actually helps you take a look at activities, restaurants, all the different things, spa treatments and things like that. You can get all that information from the Rio app. So that's a really good app to have on your phone before you come and while you're here. So just looking a little bit further into the lobby here and heading this way. So this is, as I said, down here, this is gonna lead to our restaurants. We'll go there in just a minute. And then over this way, this is gonna be the hallway to the sports bar and theater. But before we go there, we'll take a look at the lobby bar. So this one is Kabanga. I'll show you a uh, barcode that you can scan to see the different cocktails that some of the uh, some of the drinks you can get here while you're staying at the bar. So there's the QR code there. You can give that a scan and take a look at some of the drinks offered here at the bar. It's a nice place to hang out in the evening time here before some of the shows start. Uh, and there's lots of seating all through here. They even have, which I really like, the barcodes in the tables here and you can scan those while you're sitting at a table and take a look at any cocktails or things that you may wish to get. I really love these floor to ceiling windows here too. They're really big and they let in a lot of light and you can really just kind of feel like you're still a part of all the action out there. You can see the pool, you get a great view of the ocean way back there. You can see the gardens here too. So this is a really nice place to kind of kick up your feet and just relax if you're looking to escape the sun. Or if it's a rainy day, you could hang out at the tables here, play some games or read a book. So lots of different options here. I really love this space here too. There also is a little piano here too, and there's a pianist that will come in the evening times and play the piano. So we're gonna head around the other side of Kabanga, the lobby bar, and that's going to be the cappuccino. Cappuccino is the coffee bar and the place you can get some pick-me-ups and some different pastries here that are offered in these little cabinets. So again, this is cappuccino just right here. 
We've got all kinds of different uh, sweet breads here. There's like a carrot sweet bread, vanilla and chocolate, some muffins as well just here. And there's even some sandwiches and yogurts and stuff in this little case just right here too. And then as you can see, there's lots of different seating here as well. And you can use the same barcode to uh, take a look at the different... Um, oh, I think it's actually a different barcode. So I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, it's a different one. So I'll give you a shot of that so you can scan this barcode and take a look at what's offered here at Cappuccino. All right, so um, just at the back of the lobby, Cappuccino and Cabanga are behind me. Just before we leave the lobby, I will point out too that since this is a Ryu Palace, the entire lobby is um, closed in and is air conditioned, so it's nice and cool in here. I just mentioned that because when we go check out down this hallway through the doors here, down to the restaurants, this is going to be more open air, so it's not going to be as uh, cool uh, with, the, uh, with the air conditioning. So we'll do that now. We'll head down this way. I will point out there's also a, a small jewelry shop right here where you can pick up some jewelry items and sunglasses and things like that. They have some designer brands here if you'd like to pick some of that stuff up. And if we head down this way, just before we look at the restaurants, I'll point out here that there's a uh, pathway that leads out to the uh, pool area and beach area. So we'll go check this stuff out in just a few minutes, but I'm not gonna go down this pathway. When we get out to the pool area, we will walk through the pool and make, it o make our way over here because I do want to show you this beautiful hidden, well, it's not really hidden, it's kind of in plain sight, but this Mayan ruins right here, Ta'akul, and we'll take a look at what that is in just a few minutes. So turning around again, we've got our first, a la or sorry, our second a la carte restaurant. The first was the Italian. This is Cristal, the fusion restaurant, or the gourmet restaurant. And um, I'll take a look at the, or I'll show you guys the dinner menu here if I can get it to focus. So this is the dinner menu to Cristal. And then one thing to note about the uh, a la carte here, there is no reservations offered. So it is first come, first serve. If you're looking to get a, you know, a table seated or a seating at a table earlier on in the evening, you probably want to show up a little earlier to make sure you get in. We took dinner at about 8 o'clock, 8.30, and we had no problem getting in, having a seat at that time, a little later in the evening. So the next restaurant is uh, Tamales, and Tamales is the Mexican restaurant. But I'll show you the uh, menu here at Tamales. There we go, so. So continuing down the hallway then, before we head into the main buffet here, there is one last a la carte restaurant here down this hallway, and it's uh, Kabuki. Kabuki is the Japanese restaurant. And again, I'll show you the menu here for Kabuki. All right, and then this is the entryway for Kabuki. I really like this one here. I like this little Buddha statue here. So in this sliding door here, this is gonna be Las Olas. And currently they're serving just the tail end of breakfast here. And you can see the different times here for breakfast. And this does change seasonally. So uh, just keep in mind it is uh, February right now and it could change when, uh, when you arrive. But this is the current options for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then also along the bottom here, you can see the different times for the different um, uh, lobby bar and pool bars for the uh, different areas here. There's no um, numbers for the sports bar because the sports bar is 24 hours. So as we walk along, this is the entrance for Las Olas. So this is the main buffet for breakfast and dinner time just through here. We did full buffet tours here for Las Olas for breakfast and dinner, and you can find those on our channel. Um, so I'm not gonna go in there. You can take a look at those videos to see the food offerings. So if we continue along through the seating areas here, there is some like, kind of semi-outdoor seating here. Or sorry, this is still indoor, but if we go through here, there is some like kind of outdoor seating here, but they have the screens up right now. And then uh, this is Isla Mujeres. The sign is just up here. I don't know if you can see it, but um, over here, Isla Mujeres is where they serve the lunch offered here at the hotel. So the um, Las Olas is for breakfast and dinner, and then Isla Mujeres is for lunchtime. It's actually pretty convenient too because the pools are just over here and there's a walkway that comes all the way up to the stairs here. So this will be pretty busy soon with uh, guests coming to grab their lunch. Uh, also something to mention too is this turns into a steakhouse in the evening. So Isla Mujeres is a steakhouse, a la carte restaurant. And the menu's right there. I'm gonna see if I can turn it around to show you guys the menu for the steakhouse. 
so yeah, this is the steakhouse. I'm just, just kind of squeezing in here to get a shot at the menu here, but this is the menu for the steakhouse. And then as you can see over here, um, there are little screens up as I mentioned before, but if these were open, this would be open air to the outside so you can get some ocean view dining here. And there's lots of opportunity to get that over there as well. So lunchtime you get like really nice airy, um, like a nice airy oceanfront dining experience and same with the steakhouse. But um, for breakfast time, I think this is open too as well. Uh, sometimes if there's overflow with the hotels at capacity, but um, more of the seating for breakfast and dinner time is going to be over here unless you're at uh, the steakhouse for dinner a la carte. So again, I'll just point out this staircase is here um, and then I'm going to point it out a little later on in the tour to show you how to get here from the pools. So right now we're going to head all the way back down to the lobby and we're going to head down the hallway that leads to the sports bar and the theater and then head out to the pools and finally the beaches and then finish off the tour on the beach. All right, so we're back in the lobby here. We just uh, came from the hallway just down there. We're gonna turn around this way, and this is gonna lead us to the hallway that's gonna lead us to the sports bar. I'll just also point out there's a little TV here that just shows you some of the cool stuff going on at the hotel in the Ryu Fun category. You can see some beach volleyball and things like that. So another little information board. I don't think this one's touch screen. No, so this one just kind of shows you things that are happening at the resort. And if we uh, head down this hallway here, we'll point out some of the things that are offered. So there's Pier 27, Beach Life. So there's different sunglasses and uh, flip-flops, t-shirts, beach bags, all kinds of things like that. You can pick up some medication and sunscreen if you've run out of any on your trip here. If you look over down this hallway, so this will be the closest bathroom that you could access if you've come from the airport. There is a washroom, there's an accessibility washroom here, and then male and female. And this is the door here that I pointed out that came from Renova Spa and the elevators that we were at earlier on in the tour. So just through this door is Renova Spa here. So if we turn over this way, there's some seating areas of just here. And if we look over this way to the right, this is going to be the pathway that leads down to the beach and the pools. So just here, you can access the pools just over here and all the way down the pathway, which we'll travel down later, will lead us down to the pool area or to the beach area. So we're gonna head this way. This is gonna lead us to the sports bar, which is right here. And then La Latina, which is the theater, which we're gonna go down and check out in just a second. So let's go check out the sports bar. All right, so here in the sports bar, you can see there's some uh, lots of different seating and uh, TVs and memorabilia on the wall you can check out. So there's some soccer on right now and some people watching that. And I'm sure if there's some sporting events on that you're interested in, they might be able to turn that on for you. There's some 24-hour um, offerings here. So we've got some hot dogs and nachos and cheese. We've got some uh, burgers and ground meat, some buns, and then some uh, vegetables and sandwiches just here in this little buffet offering. And then we've got some whole fruit just on the top, apples and bananas. There is a little pool table over here too that you can uh, put some coins in and play with your friends or family. And then also there's a big bar here in the middle. And they've got some more um, TVs at the top here to check out. They've even got some little pastries here, similar to what we saw in the uh, cappuccino pastry counter, just here and here. And they've got a full service bar with all kinds of uh, beer, wine, cocktails and stuff if you'd like to grab some from here. And there's some additional seating just over on the right side, just over there. I'm just trying to stay out of some people's way here. Um, but yeah, this was the door we came in. And then also there's a small business center over here too that you can access the internet. You can uh, access your email, print out any documents you might need for your travels or check your email, things like that, just over here. And then the door leading back out to the main area is just here. So coming out of the sports bar and then turning to the left here, this is gonna lead to La Latina. And La Latina is the theater area. We've got uh, lots of different chairs. This is the first bar here at La Latina. This is much busier and a lot of energy in the evening time. Uh, there's like a ladder here that someone's doing some maintenance. And then this is where our reps are gonna be located. So if you came on a, with a uh, uh, tour operator, this is where your rep will be located. You can talk to them about any tours or flights or anything like this. And if we turn over this way, this is the first theater. So this is where some live entertainment is going to be. It's actually open to the outside here, which is beautiful, especially at nighttime. You can watch some entertainment on the stage here under the stars. 
So usually they have like a live band up here on this stage and there's lots of seating. There's even some booth seating just over here and all on the other side as well. And then once the live band is done, they usually have like a themed show and that's inside here. You can see there's even more seats scattered throughout here. And then the main stage is just up here. All right, so from the theater area here, we're gonna continue walking down this way. This is gonna lead us to the uh, second bar located in the theater area called La Bar Plaza or La Plaza. So it's just over here. So you have two options to pick up drinks while you're at the theater. You can go to this one or all the way through to the other side where we saw the first bar, La Latina. So one more thing to point out before we uh, go check out some of the pool areas is this is the Culinarium restaurant. So this is a uh, restaurant that's offered for, I think this is the adults only restaurant. So this, this block of hotels just in here um, on, the, on the, I guess the left side of the hotel if you're looking from the front lobby or the right side of the hotel if you're looking with your back to the water. So this is the adults only area and they have an exclusive a la carte restaurant called the Culinarium just right here. So I'll just take you down and show you the uh, menu for the Culinarium. And um, if you're staying in the adults only, this will be a cool option for you. So this is the menu here for Culinarium. We did visit here on our last visit to Ryu Palace Peninsula and we really, really liked it. So cool option here if you're looking for um, a nice dinner here a la carte. All right, so with Culinarium behind me, just walking over this way, this will be the walkway to head into the villas for the adults only area. And I say that because obviously this hotel is a family resort. So coming down this way, this is the beautiful gardens here. Lots to point out, so we'll go through this sort of one by one here. So if we look over this way, just from the sports bar there was a walkway that led down to the pools. That's this walkway right here. And um, just down below here, this is Ryu Land. So this is where there's like a little daycare for your little ones. So there's a small little splash pool right there. And inside there's some uh, cool crafts and activities that your kids can do. And the Ryu um, worker or the employee will watch your kids while you're enjoying the pool if you wanted to have like an adult stay here. As you can see, just the back side of uh, Cabanga and Cappuccino is just there. And if we turn over this way, this is the walkway up into the adults only exclusive pool area. So I can't really go up here because um, we don't have the uh, bracelet for it. So there's a special bracelet. Um, but as you can see, there are little um, sun beds right here that you can uh, hang out at. There's actually three available right now too. And then they have their own pool all through here, which is like an infinity pool. And then also their own like private lounge chairs just over here too. So there is no bar there. But if you look way off in the distance, just through the sunbeds, there is a bar just there that you can access quite easily too. So it's a nice little exclusive area for the guests who are staying in the adults only area. So continuing along here, we're gonna go into the pool area here and check out things. And I just love this hotel here. This is the back side of the hotel. Gotta get this shot here. And uh, pretty much like any room you get, the higher the better, obviously. Uh, any view you get here from these rooms are going to be an ocean view room. So, and you'll get a great view if you're on a higher floor. If you wanted to see our view from our room, you can take a look at our room tour video. And we were on the 15th floor for that one. But I'll put a clip in here to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to use this as a point of reference because I'm going to come back here before we go into the beach area. But I'll go check out the pools, then come back here, and then we'll go down this pathway right here which leads to the beach area. So heading into the pool area here, there are some fountains scattered around the garden. They aren't pools, so don't confuse those for small little splash pools. Um, there's a uh, Scuba Caribe diving th uh, center here. You can book some excursions here. And also a Coco Bongo representative that you can buy tickets for a Coco Bongo. Just to the right side, this is the pool towel hut where you can pick up pool towels. And then on the side wall here, there's a activity program. So I'll just kind of pan over that very slowly. And you can see or pause the screen to see all the different activities offered. And then some of the things that are happening in the Ryu Fun kind of the uh, pool area during the week. So this is the pool area here. If we look around here, this is actually where the towels are located there. You can just hand the card that you were given at check-in to the pool towel uh, person there and they'll give you towels in return. And you can return your towel for a card to head up to your room so you don't have to take your pool towels with you. There's another shot of the 
of the hotel from the back side there. Looks beautiful with that sunlight there. And then I'll do some uh, wayfinding right here. So this is a uh, this is a, like an accessible entrance to the pool here. So there's like a long ramp going in, very shallow, and there's a hand railing there. So if you have any accessibility needs, this will be a good spot to come in and uh, head into the pool and out of the pool. So there's one pool here. Um, if we look over this way, this is the bar Trinidad, which is a swim-up bar, which we'll get a closer look at in just a second. Uh, there also is a like uh, walk-up area just on the pool deck. So Ryu Fit is just over here, it's where you can do some working out. There's another activity pool just here, more of an infinity pool just over there, which we'll look at. And then finally the beach area and the last bar just hiding through there. So we'll go look at all those things a little closer as we move along here. So walking along here, I just want to walk down this pathway here. This is going to lead us to our previous staircase that we said led up into the Isla Mujeres and Las Olas. But one thing to point out here that's really awesome is this um, excavated Mayan ruin here called Ta Akul. So I'll give you a couple shots of it here. It looks really, really nice. I really love this like historic kind of Mayan civilization, learning about all that kind of stuff. So this is really neat for me to see. I love the stonework. It's really cool to have this on the property here and how they've kind of preserved it so guests can enjoy this like little slice of Mayan civilization. So there's another look at it there and I'll show you the um, the information about it. So I'm not going to read this all but I'll just scan down slowly and you can pause the screen at any time to have a closer look at the little or the story behind Ta'akul. And then with Ta'akul behind me this is the staircase that led up into Las Olas that we pointed out earlier. Just beside that there's Ryu Art which is closed today. Um, I think they're just doing some maintenance in there right now but um, this is a spot where you could come and do some ceramic painting or some painting on canvas. There is an additional charge to that too, but I think you could take those items home that you decided to paint here on your vacation. So it might be a cool little souvenir and it's an activity to do with your uh, friends your uh, or your family. So just to the um, left of the staircase then, this is where the washrooms are gonna be located, or one of the set of washrooms are located here at the pool area. And it is a little bit windy here because we are pretty close to the ocean here. So we got lots of wind coming off the ocean right now. So hopefully you can still hear me pretty good. And then we're going to head back to the pool area over here. All right, so we're back on the pool deck here. And uh, we'll take a closer look at some of these uh, pools and the bars here offered. So this bar here, this remote bar, is uh, it's called Trinidad. And it's uh, sister bar, just on the other side of the resort, is called Tobago. So I like that, Trinidad and Tobago. And there's some uh, bar seating around the pool. There's some lounger seating here. You can lay down in the, in the pool and get some sun and get your tanning on. And then as we come around this way, here's the backside of Ta'akul. And if we pan over this way, this is going to be the walk-up area to the Trinidad bar. And there's some seating area here too that you can grab a seat and relax at. So this is the uh, walk-up bar just here. All right, so along the way here, there's lots of loungers here. Um, as you can see, there's lots of shade offered as well. You may have seen that earlier too. You can kind of see even through here, lots of shade offered. And there's lots of umbrella stands and umbrellas that can be put up if you couldn't find a spot in the shade. I will warn you one thing. Um, again, this is not the hotel's responsibility, but the guest's responsibility. We did put our towels out and then head up for breakfast one morning. Actually, it was this morning. And uh, we had towel clips and everything on our chair. And when we got back, everything was gone. So just be careful putting your towels out and leaving them unattended because um, there could be people out there who maybe want your towel and towel clips more than you do. So just wanted to let you know that um, in case you were leaving your stuff unattended. You may have no problem, but I just wanted to give you the warning. So over this way, I'm going to show you one of the beaches over here. This isn't a most, the most common beach over here just because of some of the rocky surfaces. Um, but there is some really good swimming and sand in the beach. So you don't need water shoes either when you're heading to the beaches here. There is uh, lots of sand in the water that you can walk out and swim in. So as you can see just here, the water is really beautiful here in February. Um, just double check with like the Facebook groups and things like that. There's a really awesome Facebook group, uh, the Hotel Ryu Palace Peninsula fan page that you can join up and ask questions at and participate in. They give some great information. And um, you can see there's lots of crystal clear water here right now, but things could have changed by the time you come with the algae and the different seasons. But you can see there's lots of opportunity to sit here, grab a lounge chair, you're close to the bar, 
and uh, really good swimming here too. So things change very quickly here in uh, Mexico. So uh, yeah, things can be quite different when you come. It's just sort of depending on the seasons. If you look way, way off in the distance, way down here, this is uh, Rio Palace Las Americas and Rio Palace Cancun. And uh, we did resort tours and um, tours at those ho hotels as well. And we'll have those up on our channel for you to take a look at as well if you wanted to compare the different resorts. So we're gonna head back to uh, the pool area, continue through, and I'll show you another spot that you can swim at as well. All right, so back in the pool deck here, this is uh, Ryu Fit, the area right here. So you can see there's lots of empty space here for workouts. They even have like a suspension system to set up TRX suspension trainers to do some workouts. And if you're looking to get some workouts in on your vacation and you don't want to use the gym and you want to be outdoors, here's the schedule for Ryu Fit. And then I'll show you this side over here as well. And you can pause this at any time just to take a closer look. So coming out of Ryu Fit, just looking over this way, we got another beautiful view of the backside of the hotel. I can't get enough of this view, I love it. And then just over here, this is a uh, small snack bar that opens up at lunchtime for pool guests. Um, they serve hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, nachos, and uh, some pico de gallo, things like that. So if you're looking for a quick bite and don't want to go all the way up to the buffet, there are some eats here. It's not going to be anything super fancy, but definitely uh, settle your hunger if you didn't want to walk all the way up to the buffet. So I'll just give you a little bit of vibe, or a little bit of the vibes here. They're doing a uh, aqua class right now over here. You can see the the Ryu uh, Fun team member leading everyone through aerobics as we come through the activity pool just over here. And we head over to the infinity pool just over here. And then again, there is another walkway over to the beach just here to look to lead to the beach that we just looked at. And if we look over this way, this pathway kind of connects everything together from where we started. And then this is the infinity pool right here. So you can see the infinity edge all along there. So this, there's nobody in this pool right now, but it is swimmable. And then this is the beach that we're going to end off at just right here. This is a really common spot for people to come take photographs as well. Um, and you get some really good views of the ocean and the hotel as well. So if you want to take a cool Instagram picture, this is an awesome spot. So we're going to try to go past the music here and then we'll head back down the pathway towards the beach there. Oh, one other thing to mention too is there's this uh, guy who comes around with this cart and he can make you a drink just on the spot. So if you see him and you want a drink, he'll make you a nice drink. All right, so I'm kind of in between two pools. This is the activity pool. This is where we just walked from. And then this is the uh, first pool that we saw just right here. You can see there's uh, some more loungers in the pool over here. And this is gonna lead us to the pathway uh, that leads us down to the beach. But look, if you see over here, these are the adults only villas over there and the exclusive pool that exists for them just up here. All right, so we're up on the pathway now heading towards the beach. The pools and everything that we just toured is to the right here beside me. The hotel is back there. I'll probably show you this view a couple more times before this video is over. And then just beside me to the left here is the beach volleyball court. So there'll be some different times during the day where they'll set up an organized beach volleyball game. And if we continue along, this is going to be the pathway down to the beach. In this little area right here, as you can see some guests enjoying the hammocks. So if you like the relaxing, if you like relaxing in a hammock, you can see if you can find a spot there when they're open. And also to mention too, is every Saturday night they have a beach party in this little area right here, which was a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, a lot of cool music. It does end at 10.30 though, so I've, we found that a little bit fun, or a little bit um, strange that it ends so early because everyone was having so much fun. But um, nonetheless, uh, they open up these like little canopies here and there's some lights there. I'll put some video in so you can see what it looks like down here when the beach party's going on. And then continuing along, this is the infinity pool here. If you look over to the left, there is another Scuba Caribe water sports uh, booth and you can rent any equipment here. You can do any excursions. Um, you can book uh, at this desk here if you'd like to, to do that. You can get some more information from the representatives here. And then as you look through here, this is gonna be the other bar that's located on the beach. I'm not gonna go over there. It looks very similar to the other bars. There's some seats and the bartenders and all the drinks and stuff, but that's Tobago. But something to mention is there are washrooms over there as well. If you're staying at the beach, that would be the spot you'd go to use the washroom. 
All right, so before we head on to the beach, I'll just mention the flags here. So just take a peek at which flag is being flown right now. It's yellow, so it's a sort of caution because there are some waves. But if it is a red flag, they do say it's kind of bad weather and maybe not to use the ocean, but they won't patrol that. So if you feel like you're a good swimmer and you still want to go in the ocean, no one will stop you, but just be careful if they're flying that red flag. So lots of uh, uh, pool ch or lots of uh, beach chairs here on the beach. Um, it is 12.20 in the afternoon and I see lots of free space over there and there's some shade. So uh, yeah, you can still come a little bit later and get a good spot on the beach. There are some Ryu employees that will come around and take your drink orders here on the beach as well. So that's really nice. You don't even have to get up and go to the bar. So the sand here in uh, Cancun is that powdery kind of powdered sugar white sand. It's beautiful here. And uh, the water today is nice and crystal clear as we saw earlier. And this is a bit more of like a protected lagoon here. And uh, usually the waves aren't too bad here. Today they're like, I would say medium relative to kind of what Cancun gets. Um, but yeah, very swimmable. The water's very nice. There's lots of people in the water at the moment. I've just taken in the beautiful sights here. You can see there's some seagrass here that piles up, but there's really not much at all, relatively speaking, to something sometimes I've seen before here in Mexico. But they do a good job raking it up and keeping it nice and clean for the guests here on the beach. So just panning back over this way, this is Ryu Caribe, and that's the um, other Ryu Hotel that's located beside Ryu Hotel, Hotel Ryu Palace Peninsula. So you do have access to go over there as well if you want to get a bit of a change of pace from the peninsula. And we did a full hotel tour of this hotel too if you wanted to check out that on our channel as well. So this is the beach from the water here. And you can see lots of uh, guests enjoying their time here. And uh, with that, we're gonna end the video here. So this is a beautiful resort. We've been here two times now and the beach is always pretty awesome. And usually when there's high seaweed, they don't really get a lot in this area. So we, swimming in the ocean is always an option. I shouldn't say always, but it's most of the time an option. And one thing we really love about this hotel is the views from almost all of the rooms are like an amazing ocean view. So put all that together and you got a really good package here to make sure you have an awesome time here in Mexico. So with that, we'll end the video here. Hopefully you found this video helpful and choosing a hotel that might be right for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.